Welcome to today's presentation on Zyku Cool Center. Cool Center is a fully operational, out of the box call center solution designed for small and medium sized businesses. In today's presentation, I'm going to talk about the index interface, the admin login, how to change the password, how to create an extension how to create inbound and outbound rules, how to create an agent, and finally, how to add an agent to a call queue. First, the index interface. The index interface, GUI, can be accessed over the one interface on 192.168.1.100 and on the LAN interface, on 192.168.10.100. Zyko highly recommends that you use the Chrome or Opera web browser. When you reach the index interface, CoolCenter has two different interfaces. One is for the IP PBX and one for the contact center. Click contact center to get into the contact center system logon screen. Next step is to log in using the default admin account and default password. The default credentials for the admin account is admin with a password of admin. For security reasons, Zyku recommend that you change immediately the default password at your very first logon. To do this, and I'll demonstrate this later, go to the admin tag at the top right corner and you'll see the change admin password. Change this to a secure password. Next we need to create an extension. There are two models within the Coup Center range currently. The S10 Plus supports up to 40 extensions and the bigger S30 supports up to 120 extensions. To create an extension, you must log into the PBX GUI page, and I'll demonstrate later how to do that. You log in to the PBX using the same credentials as you did when logging into Coup Center. This is what the extension page looks like. Here you can create IP or analog extensions. The next thing we need to do is create an inbound rule. Inbound rules allow calls to go to the right destination. We do this again to the PBX. So we go to the inbound control, inbound rules. And by default, it's set to IVR, but we can change this to go to Q. Here we have the IVR menu. On the IVR menu, we can route inbound calls to a destination based on a key press, e.g. press 1 for sales. The call center agents are only available in a call queue, so however you choose to route a call, it must always go to a call center queue. To make outbound calls, we need to create outbound rules. And in addition to outbound rules, we also need to create permissions or extensions to be able to use those rules. To make an outbound call, we need to have a trunk in place. The S10 Plus supports VoIP and FXO trunks, and the S30, dependent upon what module is inserted, supports VoIP, E1, T1, GSM, and FXO trunks. Trunks can, can be configured from within the trunk section. Once we have created our trunk, we can now create a dial rule. The dial rule allows us to select the trunk with which to make the outbound call and a custom pattern which is a series of numbers the PBX needs to recognize to route the call accordingly. So in this example we have selected trunk 600 and we have created a pattern of XXX dot meaning if the PBX receives at least three numbers in the range of 0 to 9, followed by any other numbers, and it will route that call 
over the 600 trunk. Once the dial rule is in place, we have to create a dial plan. So this gives an extension effectively the permissions to use that rule. So here if we check the xxx dot box, we've added it to the dial plan. Okay, now we're ready to create the call center agents. So the S10 Plus supports up to 20 agents and the S30 can support up to 60 agents. Create an agent, go into manage agents. I'll demonstrate this later. As part of the creation process, you'll set the agent name, the number, their extension number, password, and also the permission level the agent has. And finally, we can add an agent to a call queue. This is a simple process. Simply go into queue, select the queue you require, and add your agents. And that is it. Setup is complete. Now give the agent an account and password, and they can enjoy the, a true call center experience. Once logged in, your agent will see the following screen with all the full functionality a call center solution requires. Let's now see how this looks on a live system. So I'm logging into an S10 Plus. As you can see, this is the default IP address. I'll log in as admin using the default admin. And this is the initial login screen. So the first thing I want to do is change the password. So I'm going to admin settings. I'm not going to do this now, but if I were to change the password word, I would do it here. Next, I'll go to PBX settings. And now I need to log into the PBX itself. So I use again, admin, admin, because I haven't changed the password. PBX, as you can see, is warning me I haven't changed my password. So if we go to basic, here are my extensions. Uh, I can edit an extension if I wish to. I can create a new extension. Now that I have my extensions, I can look at my inbound routes. So I'll go to inbound control, inbound routes. As you can see, it's set to IVR by default. But I can change that and I can select go to queue. Now let's take a look at the outbound rule side of the system. So first, I've got the option of creating a VoIP trunk. Or on this particular model, I can create an FXO trunk, an analog trunk. So why don't we do that? Create a new trunk with a single FXO. Let's call it out FXO. And let's OK that. Now I'll activate the setting. So now we have an outbound FXO trunk active. If I go to outbound routes. I need to create a dial rule. So I'll create a new rule and call it call out. I'll select 
my trunk and create a custom pattern. For simplicity, I'll use 0xx dot. I can save that. Now I've created a dial rule. I'll look at the dial plan. So this is dial plan 1, the default dial plan. And there's my newly created dial rule. So I'll select that and activate it. And the dial plan and the dial rule is now active. Okay, let's go back to the cool center UI now. And we'll look at uh, creating an agent. So I'll go to manage agents and create new agent. Give the agent a name and an ID, password. I could define whether this is a SIP web or analog extension, the extension number, and also set whether I want the user to be a supervisor or not. And that's it. Simple agent is created. Let's now add this agent to a queue. I have three queues here. So I'll select queue 630. Go to this is the ring strategy, by the way. So by default, it's ring in order. And I'll add my agent. Update the system. And that's it. We are ready to go. That's the end of today's presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. Cool Center, as you have seen, is a very easy to configure, fully functional call center solution with no licensing fees and therefore is a great purchase for your business. Thank you.